Hi, I'm Travis Kimmel, Regional Agronomy Lead with Advanced Agrolytics. We're out here in a field today and what I, what I want to talk about is early planted soybeans and really the effects that tillage can have on both that stand establishment and really early season water infiltration rate. So today we're here in a field. Um, these soybeans were planted April 24th and this field was worked with a Krauss Landsman. So a uh, single blade or single gang of serrated blades in the front, field cultivator sweeps um, on nine inch centers, pulling a nine inch sweep. And the grower here in this particular area, we're, we're standing in a large catchment area. You can see roughly behind me, um, we do have essentially the absolute basin or pocket where we're, we're holding some moisture here. We're still not quite dried out. Um, and what I'm trying to assess here, you know, we've taken a stand count here and we have, you know, less than 50,000 plants, um, which is not enough to sustain for optimal yield. So we are going to come back in and patch some of this stuff in and add some more plants. But as part of this process, I keep getting the, the conversations or the questions coming in that, hey, why am I not um, handling this, this soil moisture? Why is my ground getting so hard? And what can we do to try to fix this in, in absence of tile? As I've dug this up and, and, and flipped this, this dirt clot out of here, you can see essentially this, this top layer here, so to speak, where that ground kind of sheared off. And like I said, the grower had said they had been working at about two and a half inches. But if I look at really where the base of where that shear is on the soil surface versus, or to that soil surface, I got about an inch and a half as I'm using you know, my depth gauge here. And so as we're looking at this, this uh, plant here, you know, we don't have a lot of great root exploration here. Um, there's not much root mass to this plant. And while it is small, you know, on this area, what I've found from some of these other plants, we had obviously a lot more seedling blight, um, you know, pythium that has taken stand out and some of that dampening off as it's emerged. But, um, you know, depth on this acre really as we've tried to shallow this up, we just didn't really get a, or really say promote um, good infiltration. And so what do we have? We have more ponding, um, excess moisture at the surface, which has led to some of that uh, dampening off. Now at this particular acre, we're at a nitrogen loss score of, you know, greater than 14. And so what we're gonna do is I have another field that was planted the same day. And the difference, while it was still worked with a field cultivator, it was done at a deeper depth, and I want to talk through really what that what that difference is in that overall plan stand establishment looks like, as well as what that root exploration looks like. Okay, here we are in that second field. Now, where we're standing, this is still a, a high nitrogen loss area, so still greater above 14. We're in a catchment um, zone of the field where we have similar organic matter, similar CEC. This is what I would consider a like environment. Now, much like the area that we were at at that previous field, you know, prescribed rate on soybeans, but it's still been in that 140 to 145,000. Now at that previous location, as we had stated, you know, we had a final stand of around 50,000 plants of which we're gonna have to go in and replant. Where we are here, you know, we had a final stand of about 120,000. So a much lower attrition rate, an adequate stand, a nice uniform stand that we have here to work off of. Coming down here, looking at soil, and so I turned some over. You know, again, here I have a block of soil, same thing as the previous location, still where that shear is, which is really kind of that, that depth of tillage. And as I flip this over, you know, and I get to the bottom of essentially where that sheared, I still only got in about maybe say two inches of what that final tillage pass was. And this was worked one time um, over with a field cultivator. This would have been a, a, a Deer 2210 um, field cultivator pulling a double rolling basket, very similar to what was done um, up the road. But the other thing I wanna call out too here is, and as I look at this, and again, kind of where this sheared off is, the amount of root system and really the export, the orientation of those roots. You know, I have a plant here that I had separated out we have some good nodule formation there on the uh, on the tap root, 
and notice its orientation really being vertical. Now I, I broke this off as I was bringing it out, but what I really like to look for here is this vertical orientation, um, meaning that we were going down into that soil profile and not going as, as a lot of us see at times when we plant into say the bottom of that furrow, you see that taproot wanting to go at say a 90 degree angle or down in line with, with uh, the furrow or the, the travel of that planter. How you prepare that ground, and again, this is not a, a well-tiled area. Again, similar nitrogen loss score. You know, it, heavy, heavy clay, increased bulk density. This is a wet acre, and we've had, you know, between these two fields, we've had about nine inches of rain since the day of planting, and here we are on um, June the second. And so, a lot of rainfall in this area while we still had water lay here for a period of time it didn't lay as long and as you can see you know as i'm digging this today handling the soil it is getting hard um you know in it, it, just in how it is handling essentially uh the rainfall that we've had it's becoming very dense it is getting much harder than it was even say three four weeks ago before we had this last round of rainfall but how we handled that early season rain um had a much different outcome on this acre versus where we were down the road. So just things to always remember, you know, when you want to plant in that early window, you know, first part of April, late March, depending on where you're at um, in the Midwest, a lot of advantage to planting soybeans early because of capturing essentially that extended time frame of daylight and elongating that reproductive phase in soybeans. But in these scenarios where we're going to till, you've always got to ask yourself or be cognizant of, hey, when I get these early season rainfalls where we know it's going to be cool and we're going to have these prolonged periods of cool, damp temperatures, how is that ground going to handle based off of that tillage pass that you made? And so be thinking about those things when you pull into the field um, next spring with that field cultivator and or tillage tool, whether it's a high speed disc, um, whatever it is, how you prepare that soil, specifically when conditions are less than ideal, can have a profound outcome on how that final st plant stand is established.